Hello and welcome back. Today I'm being joined by fellow YouTuber and shit talker Mr. Dapperton. What's going on, buddy? Sup? Thanks for coming on the show. Our video for today's discussion comes from Hollywood actress Maim Bialik. Maim Bialik. Maim Bialaki. Well, she has a YouTube channel and her video is called Girl vs. Woman. Why Language Matters. Let's check it out. I'm going to be annoying right now because I want to talk about something that a lot of people don't want to talk about. Well, you're annoying pretty much every time I see you, May, so I'm not surprised. Being frumpy and annoying is kind of your shtick. It was on Blossom in the 90s and it is now on The Big Bang Theory. I was recently at a bar with two guy friends who are about 40, and one of them said to the other, Oh my god, dude, look at that girl sitting at the bar. She's beautiful. What an animal! And I start looking around, wondering why they would let a child into the bar. Let me get this straight. You think a 40-year-old just told a little tiny child that she's hot. But for some reason, that's not your concern. Your concern is that the child is at a bar near alcohol. According to you, your friends wanting to fuck little kids is perfectly A-OK. -okay. But don't you dare drink near a child. Wanting to fuck them is cool, but don't you dare be a bad influence by drinking near them. Then I realized that when he said girl, he meant woman. But since she's in that super narrow age range between 5 years old and 55 years old, we just don't know what to call her. Yeah, we do. We call her a girl and we call him a guy. It's pretty simple, actually. You're getting pretty butthurt over nothing, lady. Wait, am I allowed to call you that? Well, either way, if you're complaining about this, you must have a lot of time in your hands. Sorry, folks. I have to do this. We have to stop calling women girls. What are you? The language police? What gives you the right to tell people what to say anyway? Because you're an actress? Give me a fucking break. You read scripts in front of lights and lenses. And it's clear from your videos here on YouTube that anything you write yourself is whiny drivel like this crap. I could see you're offended here by people using the word girl, but I think this is more of a you issue than an us issue. It's not our fault you're choosing to uphold a dated, antiquated definition of the word girl. While the rest of the world has moved on, the words women and girls are pretty interchangeable nowadays here in America. Perhaps it's slang or people just speak really casual. But whatever it is, it's not offensive towards women. So May, I'm sorry everyone isn't as prim and proper as you. In our English vernacular it offends you, but I think you might need to get over it. That's just the way language works. Words change. Language is fluid. Meanings and uses change over time. Sure, girl and boy were once used to specifically define male and female children, but today it's just not the case anymore, especially for the word girl. Why? Because it matters what we call people. Language matters. Yep. Words and language really matter to feminists. Mansplaining. Telling a man that he's not allowed to have an opinion and that he needs to shut the fuck up because he's male. That is perfectly A-OK -okay language. But calling a woman a girl? Oh my god, the patriarchy! Words have meaning. And the way we use words changes the way we frame things in our mind. And sometimes words have different meanings for different people. In America, we call it a bathroom, but in Britain, it's called the loo. And in this instance, in America, we're calling female people girls, like when we call male people guys. Guys and girls is what's commonly used here, but apparently the Big Bang Bimbo wants us all to use her words. You know, Maim, for a Jew, you sure do act pretty damn fascist. What's next? Burning the books that call women girls? So when we use words to describe adult women that are typically used to describe children, it changes the way we view women, even unconsciously. Or it changes the way we use the word. Now the word isn't just meant for children, it's all women. How do you not see this? You're an actress, you're supposed to know words. And you're also supposedly a neuroscientist? I can't fucking believe that. You don't even know what the word girl means anymore. So that we don't equate them with adult men. In fact, it implies that they're inferior to men. Wait a second, you think the younger someone is, the more inferior they are? It's funny, you're sitting there calling everybody sexist, but the truth is, you're ageist. I don't know about you, but when I see children, I don't say, Oh, those little inferior bastards, I'm much better than them. Also, if somebody says you're a girl, they're basically saying you look younger. The hell? How is that an insult? I'd much rather be young than old. Case in point. You would never say to someone, go ask that boy behind the bank counter if the notary's here today. I might. If he was a younger boy, sure, why not? This kind of goes back to the fact that girls has become the common title for females and guys the title for males. 
I think it used to be guys and gals, but over time it became guys and girls, for whatever reason. I'll admit, I don't exactly know why myself, but this is just the words people use now. It's not offensive or complimentary. There's no tone to it at all. It's just the words we use. Guys, girls. And Maim's problem here? It's just that. Her problem. In reality, women are not being belittled by being called girls. That's just in her head. But to these women, I would say the following. There is a thing that happens when we grow up in the kind of male-centered culture that we live in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Male-centered? If by male-centered you mean men built the damn society, then yeah. If by male-centered you mean men have to work more and harder, more dangerous jobs, while women reap more benefits, then yeah, it's a male-centered society. Men are more likely to get killed or raped, while women are more likely to be taken care of, be stay-at-home moms, or, or more likely to receive favor in the court system, or in any fucking situation. Yeah, if you call that male-centered, then sure. Society is male-centered, and that means women are getting a free fucking ride. We start to believe that the way things are is the way they have to be. We start taking on the biases and judgments of women, which have been in place since an historical time when women weren't respected or even allowed into the public sphere. Huh? Do we just time travel there? I'm pretty sure women are well fucking respected and taken care of here in the West. My last comment pretty much said it all. The terms we're using for women are outdated and insensitive. Calm down, sugar tits. There's actually a YouTuber who calls herself sugar tits and she's a woman, okay? Just because something's offensive to you doesn't mean that everybody needs to be offended by it. You know what you need to do? You need to fuck off. And they assume a structure of power where men are on the top and women are on the bottom. Listen here, girly. The only one assuming shit here is you. You're assuming everything here right down to this video's premise. Nobody cares if women are called girls but you. You and your snooty SJW crowd. This is a non-issue. Calling women girls does no harm to them or anyone. And in certain eras and in certain parts of this country and the world, this kind of thinking has persisted for far longer than it should have. I know exactly what you're talking about. Everybody needs to think exactly like you. Not like me. Fuck what I think. Only your opinion matters. All the hundreds of millions of women who disagree with you should all just fuck off and die. Because everybody needs to think exactly like you. Freedom of speech can just suck a dick. To those of you who call women girls, I say this. I know your intentions are probably good, but I hope you can learn to see the unintended and negative impact your words can have. Only on weak-minded simpletons like you, strong, well-adjusted adults don't give a shit if people use the word girl. And if you're feeling confused about whether or not to call someone a girl, let me help you out. Here's how it goes. Decide if the human being in front of you is, in fact, a girl. Okay, I'll play along, but I'm not sure about you, to be honest. You could be female or male, and I'd hate to assume gender here. Indications that she may, in fact, be a woman are a high school diploma, a job, a car she pays insurance on, a mortgage, a home she calls her own, or a 401k. This is you! Oh, you did it past high school? Give me your woman card. You're not allowed to be a woman anymore. Girls tend to be under the age of 18 and typically live with their parents. 18 seems like an arbitrary cutoff. So a grown ass, good looking 17 year old is still a girl? Looks like a woman to me, damn. Being a mom is usually a very strong indication that someone is in fact a woman. Wait, but what about teen moms? Like that awful MTV show. Those females are moms who are usually under 18. Does having a baby automatically make you turn into a woman? Because there's 13 year olds who could get pregnant nowadays. I've seen it. And the thing we need to start doing as women, and for those of you out there who may not be women, but who know and love women, is to consistently, gently, kindly, and politely correct people when they call women girls. Because people just love it when you correct their speech in public, especially when it's nitpicking personal preferences like this nonsense with Maim. It's not like people are calling women bitches or hoes. It's just the word girls, dude. Get over it. I've found a few ways to do this that only make people hate me after I walk away. Honestly, I've hated you since Blossom. When someone refers to someone as a girl and I know she's a woman, I'll say so. I'll sometimes say things like, she's got a full-time job and 150 people on payroll. I'm pretty sure she's a woman. Well, I'm pretty sure you're a bitch for calling your friends out like that. I bet you're a real treat to be around. And I'll smile. Because you get more flies with honey. Yeah, you also get more flies with shit. Is that why all of your arguments are full of shit? And who knows, maybe if we start using language that elevates women and doesn't equate them with sweet, small, cuddly, tender things, We'll start treating them as more than that as well. Again, women are treated fine in the West. They are put on pedestals, in fact. Women can do no wrong here. Language sets expectations. 
Let's set ourselves up to have women behave like mature, responsible women. So wait, are women mature and responsible or are they whiny babies who fall apart when you call them girls? Because it can't be both. In the end, if you really want women to succeed more, women should learn to be strong enough not to be offended when someone calls them a girl. Instead of trying to change all of society and trying to police the words people use, teach women to be more resilient and self-reliant and not whiny little complainers like the Big Bang Bimbo. That's the key to solving her problem. Thanks for watching today's episode guys and thanks Mr. Dapperton for joining us. Check out his awesome commentary channel too. Link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Have a great night. See y'all next time.